Good morning, this is Pastor Jay recording on Pentecost Sunday. I've been wondering what I would have said if I had written my sermon for this week, as I usually do early in the week, but then rewritten it on Saturday and preached it on Sunday instead of rewritten it on Wednesday and preached it for a recording on Thursday. Because I've been reminded the last three weeks about Martin Luther King saying that riots are the voice of those who are unheard. He did not say this for the sake of excusing the, the behavior, the riots, but he did say it in a way to explain what was happening. And that explanation does explain some of what we've seen this week after the killing of George Floyd. And I have to admit, I was late to the party this week because if I had been on track on this, I would have figured out by the time I recorded on Thursday afternoon that I needed to say something about it, something that referenced this in my sermon for today. But I didn't do that then. It became clearer over the last three nights. And as I said in, in my recorded sermon that you will hear this morning online, we are all made in the image of God. But that doesn't, in and of itself, make any sense of this. It doesn't tell us what to do next. So what do we do? One way to understand sin is to recognize that we are all in some sense self-centered and that we want to do what we want to do when we want to do it. Part of America's sin as a culture, as a nation, what Jim Wallace calls America's original sin is believing that black people in particular and people of color generally are somehow less human and therefore less in the image of God than white people. I believe that centuries ago we had to talk ourselves into this culturally to justify living in a society where people were slaves, especially black people were slaves. And while many of us no longer believe this to be true, we have never as a culture really gotten past it. The result for people of color generally and for people of African American ancestry in particular is living in a broken social system that has resulted from centuries of racial oppression. This system does not respect the full humanity of people of color. This is not righteous. This does not represent God's justice. God's justice included setting the people of Israel free from slavery in Egypt. But the result of this lack of righteousness, this lack of justice, this lack of respecting people's full humanity often turns into unrest, which sometimes boils over into protests, peaceful protests, and then perhaps into riots and looting when people believe that their backs are now against the wall. And in these times when order breaks down, other people who are simply opposed to our social order or do not feel that they benefit from it from white supremacists on the right, perhaps, to anarchists on the left, to other folks in the middle who simply see an opportunity people take advantage of and they exacerbate the situation, they make it worse. And the police don't always respond by decelerating the situation as we would hope that they would. As white people, as a white person. I need to recognize that people of color are hurting and still oppressed. Despite the great strides made during the civil rights movement, including the civil rights and voting acts of the mid-1960s, our social contract is still broken. We have not dealt sufficiently with the underlying issues of America's original sin. At Messiah, we believe that we are called to love God and love one another. We believe that everyone is welcome, 
that all are welcome and that all are loved by God and the table is big enough for everyone. Perhaps more than believing that all are welcome, we need to believe that we are called to work for justice for all people, including those who are still impressed, still oppressed. And that is hard work. That is work that we may not be up to doing on our own. So on this Pentecost Sunday, we are reminded to call on the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Christ who lives in us, the Holy Spirit who is Christ's presence and Christ's power for us. We, were, we are reminded that the Spirit will help us not just love our neighbors, but can also help us to work for justice for all people especially for those who are oppressed. Amen.